This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week we are doing Planar Commander, where each of us have built a deck where all the cards must be clearly depicting a single plane. So for example, if you pick the plane of Ravnica, you can choose all the cards from the original Ravnica block, return to Ravnica block, and then any other card outside of those two sets that clearly depict a character or the plane itself from Ravnica. So like Mizzix of the Magnus from uh, one of the commander sets or Krenko Mob Boss from M13. Those are clearly characters from the plane of Ravnica. So those are also acceptable. So we're doing Planar Commander. And let's start it off with Richard. What plane did you pick? All right, I have Zendikar. So I built Mono Eldrazi. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> when I think Zendikar, <laughs> I, think, I think lands matter, the lands are alive, so I have every single creature land. And fun fact, uh, I actually filled over 37 land slots with just only dual lands, and I had to cut some to put basics in. <laughs> but uh, I play 5C, uh, mostly allies, so allies were a big theme of both the original and the new Zendikar blocks. I have a, a splash of Eldrazi, there's a few Eldrazi, and then a bunch of lands matters things, whether it be landfall or other things that synergize with lands. My commander is General Tazri, so five color, mm -hmm. and uh, my deck is uh, pretty decent. There's actually pretty good Zendikar cards. I didn't build mono good Zendikar, like, you know, Jace the Mind Sculptor is in the set. He's not in my deck. There's a bunch of actually pretty all, good staples. Uh... All the ascensions, all the quests, uh, you know, things like that are part of these blocks. So I've, I only played the ones that are on theme and I, I felt, are you know, they have a point. I didn't just play random good stuff. But uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. Ramp and fixing might be an issue, and I have a lot of double-colored spells. Uh, but I, I don't think anyone has Wasteland or Strip Mine this week, so maybe I'll get a free pass, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Fixing is going to be an issue, Mr. I have all the fetch lands and the duels and the... <laughs> but here's the thing, to activate my creature land, I need colors that the creature land is providing and I might not have it. Like, because there's a lot of double and triple color costs in my deck, so... I will shed a tear for you, Richard, <laughs> as, you, as you bemoan... Having the, uh, the land, the land plane. I can't uh, get my mana base together. I'm sorry, guys. How how horrible. Uh, speaking of horrible, uh, Seth, you picked a, a rather <laughs> difficult plane this week. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> I I decided to go hard mode. I'm playing uh, Marcadia, which is probably one of the worst planes <laughs> in Magic, uh, to the point where Tomer said, you didn't even know it was a plane, right? And you're like the lore person or one of them. I just so. thought it was part of Rav or Dominaria. <laughs> I thought they just like took their ship to a different port. And it's like, oh, it's Marcadia City. Hello. <laughs> it is. It is its own plane. Uh, one of the worst planes. What and plane. to make things even harder, I am playing Mono White. So I am... <laughs> Mono mono white rebels led by <laughs> Lin Civy defiant hero. Oh, uh, basically all the rebels. Lin Civy was so good in standard back in the day, so we'll see. Uh maybe she's like a sleeper general for commander that's way better than she looks. Uh but my cards aren't good. I don't know how I <laughs> ever will kill anyone. The th the rebels seem to have a theme that they're all too powered no matter how much they cost. So I figure I will just spend my turns tutoring up random two powered rebels and uh hopefully you all ignore me for a while and you never know i gotta get the richard win this is so seth style like you're not drawing you're not drawing cards technically but you're fetching up a rebel which will fetch up another rebel so you're sort of drawing cards but you're always drawing rebels and you're putting them directly to play and the rebels don't do anything they just fetch other rebels so yeah. This Unfortunately, is... the average we uh, rebel, I think, is worth significantly less than a card. Like, I think <laughs> just, like, opt or something is better than the typical rebel, but we'll, we'll see. This is... All right, that's extra hard mode. I am I'm impressed by you, sir. This is... Let's see how that pans out. <laughs> All right, moving on. We got Vince. What plane did he pick? 
Good evening, guys. I was originally going to play um, uh, the Is It Guild Leader Niv Mizzet until I realised there's only really 42 playable cards in those colours across all the Ravnica blocks plus Commander. Um, so whilst I was perusing one of the Commander sets, I saw Edgar Markov and thought, well, I'm sure there's got to be enough vampires, right? So I'm playing Innistrad block, I've got Edgar Markov as my Commander, and I'm playing an awful lot of draft chaff 2-1 flying vampires and such. <laughs> Um, I've got some very, very powerful cards as well, like there's things like Olivia of Old Aaron exists, obviously, Vulcan's Wrath Aristocrat. Um, uh, and I've also got some very good cards that are known from the set that aren't actually that good in Commander, but I, like Liliana of the Veil isn't great, but I thought I'd play her anyway because she's in the set and she's in the colours, so that'll draw some hate, I bet. But um, yeah, so I'm going to make a load of vampires, I guess, and then... Um, yeah, have to attack because I want to make myself the, the, the bad guy. <laughs> Lastly, I'm, I'm, I'm vampires, demons, and uh, a little bit of devils. So I guess I am the bad guy. Tribal, though. We're all tribal this week. Very nice. I mean, Edgar Markov is is a quite scary commander, but we really do need some aggro on the table, considering most of us are going to be spending our turns not doing much. So it's going to be <laughs> Edgar Markov's responsibility to kind of push the game along that's on you vince you gotta you gotta progress the game it's just, just a shame that the says the over right vile... now and after he gets attacked he'll be singing <laughs> a different tune i was just about to say so this is the person the who thing... just like quickly added ghostly prison to his his list oh, <laughs> i was <dear>. like uh, <laughs> can't deal with this uh yeah vampires very sweet um and yeah, I, I just added a ghostly prison, and that's because I'm running Kamigawa! Yay! You know how everybody liked Moonfolk and how they didn't do much? Well, I'm back with Kamigawa Are goodness. You Moonfolk again, I Tomer. Did you just Moonfolk use this again. as an excuse to try no. again? I Moonfolk were already terrible with like all those good wizard sub theme going on and everything, every single like trick I could come up with to make it kind of feasible. That you don't have that in Kamigawa box. So I went with Spirits plus Arcane. So it's a Spirit deck, it's an Arcane deck, it's a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B, and it makes a pretty sweet deck full of cool interactions and neat tricks. It's definitely a long, uh, good stuffy mid-range control deck, kind of, I would say. It takes a really long time to get going, um, and it requires a lot of mana. Unfortunately... Kamigawa has horrible mana fixing, just the worst mana fixing. The lanes that mana fix are awful, except for Forbidden Orchard. There are two good cards with Sakura Tribe Builder and Kodama's Reach, but then beyond that, you're really grasping for straws. So I'm a five color deck that needs a lot of mana, and uh, hopefully we can just let the game go really long, and then I'll do cool things. That is my hope. I'm, a, I'm just going for the late, late, late game, and just make my land drop some basics, and hope I can cast my spells. So, yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping you don't cast your spells, because I think that's Rebel's only chance. Like, I just need all of you five-color decks to draw one color of your mana, and then the Rebels can sneak in with their two-twos and beat you down. I'm just going to play a 3-3 three, three and stonewall you, kind of like last week. <laughs> no, the Rebels no. can't attack through a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe we'll fetch up another Rebel that could fly if there is one. <laughs> Who gotcha. <laughs> Actually, even more disappointing, like most of the rebels are from Arcadia, but then there's some future site ones that aren't necessarily from Arcadia. They're like Kithkin rebels, so I couldn't even play any of the good rebels. I had to play all the bad ones from Arcadia. <laughs> well, this is going to be a thing. Uh, hopefully, we don't have another like four hour game on our hands. Uh, <laughs> but we'll find out very soon as we hop into the game. God. Oh, I go first. Yes, oh, there. Oh, this is how it begins, lost. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the tribes. The I have a good feeling. Ghosts of Worth. Don't fail me now. I'm going first. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the excitement died. <laughs> you know what? It it has three colors of lands in my hands. 
This is fine. I don't know if you can hope for more than that. I know, like, I, I, there is some decent ramp. There's Secure Tribe Elder in Kadama's Reach and, like, two spirits that are kind of good for ramping. And I don't have them in my hand, but I also have three of my five colors in my hand, so I'm just going to keep it. Why not? Like, I'm not going to get too greedy here. <laughs> eh, I got rebels, so. Right, I know, I'm not really worried about the rebels. They all enter the battlefield tapped. <laughs> but we won't keep I'm more right. I'm more worried about the Tazri and the Edgar. I'm gonna risk this for the proverbial chocolate biscuit. No! Why would I draw that? No! <laughs> That's like the I one. Did... <laughs> I didn't so... realize that was the five color commander you want. I thought you wanted. Was... Is it there an Iname as well? That's five color. Uh, Iname is two colors. He's black green. There's Iname is one, and then there's Anami life aspect, which is mono green, and death aspect, which is mono black, and then together they're one. Uh, oh, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. But I drew the absolute worst card that I want did not want to see in my deck. So, oh, this is great. It's forest, though. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, got that ability though. That on hit ability of your commander is scary. It's good if you have haste. <laughs> <laughs> These rebels. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Land go. <laughs> is everybody running the proper lanes? This is important. Arcadia, uh, I, I have see to it. Never there go because I'm running six basics. <laughs> oh no, my base is No, but they have so to be off. from Zendikar. But they, yeah, all right? the dual lands are Zendikar. Guys, we have to restart. My base is uh, You lose. You might as well just <laughs> yeah. might as well just concede. I'll just take I'll the just take scoop. the uh, the comment section's wrap this year. This, this week. This year. The it's whole like when year. someone turn one thoughts uses you and you just scoop so you, they don't see your bad mulligan choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. It's default, all right, ones. Mr. Almondcat. Uh, Almondcat. Alright, oh, you're gonna okay, hear us in the... <laughs> That's a turn yeah, one vampire. Is... Yeah, we're... Uh... And it's Omnicat so right. lands. It just makes a vampire yes. for free? Oh it is my very God. strong. Yeah, Why did they this make these commanders? Eminence. I... <laughs> it's a mistake. Eminence. It was another mistake. They were like, you guys <laughs> didn't like Aloro, so how about we just make an entire More set? <laughs> In all fairness, though, I am currently missing uh, land drops in my hand, so that might, this might be the height of my aggressive draw. Haha. -ha. Well, oh. I have a way to defend myself from the one <laughs> ones. <laughs> what? That what? is what? You are playing that? What? Well, that, that, that's, that's actually <laughs> rebel. pretty reasonably that's costed. That's from my set. <laughs> are, you, are you sure that's from Acadia? How do you know? Uh when I borrow cards, it defaults to the cheapest version. It says so... it in the flavor text. I'm joking. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. I, I manually, I manually replaced the ones that weren't in the right edition with the ones that were in the right one, except for Ghostly Prison because I literally just threw that in when I heard Edgar Markov. If someone had warned me, I would have got some better basics. I wish I had Ghostly Prison. <laughs> I wish Richard I could find a planes and my ghostly prison like <laughs> next turn, but I can't. I don't, I don't even think I can beat ghostly prison. You can just um, pay the mana. <laughs> you just pay the mana cost, <laughs> <laughs> and then I lose. What I need I is like so Zendikar and Sneering Bridge. <laughs> I need white and blue mana so bad. I need bad. to empty my hand, <laughs> and then you probably can't beat that. Wait. How have no, you I got don't. Snaring Bridge? <laughs> I was going to say. Don't you know Snaring Bridge uh, was teleported to the plane of Zendikar we never discussed... by some planeswalker? Yeah. <laughs> we never discussed whether or not uh, Kaladesh gets all the inventions. Ooh. Oh. I think that Is would that... be twisting. No, the art. But the art of the invention is Kaladesh. The art uh, yeah, no, actually, things... yeah, that would count. Yeah, they're all from Kaladesh plane. Yeah, that would totally be legit. Oh, I should have played Kaladesh. My deck yeah. would have been insane. I'm drawing the worst cards possible, by the way. So, yes. Theft, theft of Hope isn't that bad. No, no, no. I had that in my opener. I oh, just okay. drew the cards. three worst cards oh, possible no. in my deck. Oh, no. Oh, we're we're all going to die. He's going to get more steadfast <laughs> cards, everyone. I'm going to get a 2-2. I guess I'm <laughs> what, what, <laughs> Vince, Vince doesn't have blockers. Uh, I could... <laughs> He left his mana up though and didn't tap out. I'm I a little scared. Terminate on your dead fast guard. Anything to do? <laughs> like feast of blood, or I don't, I don't know. We're back to the original plan of not letting Richard win. Right? There's an Edgar Markov there. Of, I've we've got... had a couple of weeks of back and forth between the lot of us, but now we have to refocus <laughs> on Richard. Now he's back. Um. Okay. Zero one doesn't block. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my mana fixing so oh, my, This is beautiful now, oh, but man. 
I can never play anything on curve. <laughs> your, your deck is. Oh, your I'll deck trade is you. Disgusting. Yes, I drew another oh, land. Never punished. Ooh. Oh, that's right. He missed the vampire drop last turn. Don't worry though. I got one this time. Oh, oh my gosh. God. That is. <laughs> with the Gorger. The Gorger and the Olivia out. Everything has. Yeah, everything has menace. Oh my or god, and there's another token. Uh, Coming at you, at? Cleopatra. For board wipes. <laughs> I like how, like, <laughs> me and Seth have, like, walls up. <laughs> Alright, my, my deck is trolling me. Which is just going to cast an Avenger of Zendikar next turn, and then that's it, we're dead. I only have five mountains, but here they are. Yeah. Nice if you. Uh, uh, red is the, the lowest used color in my deck. So I oh. think the way you play Rebels is you trust that your opponents don't know how bad Rebels are, <laughs> and you pass with your mana up and hope that they don't attack you because they're afraid that <laughs> there's a good card in your deck when you know there really isn't. You're not supposed to say that! <laughs> that but was that for the, the audience. Like? You, I hope you were not listening. That was for the viewers' sake. You were that's such, that's that. such a rattlesnake thing to say as well, because you, you know you've got some four mana bomb that you're about to go put into play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my deck list now, trying to figure out what the best rebel is. So in standard, what did Incevi often go and fetch then? Uh, well, in standard, I think the problem was... Uh, Rebels was a really big deck, and it was when they had the old legend rule, where yeah, when yeah. whoever had the first uh, legend, the other yeah, person's yeah. legend would just die. So it was just basically whoever played Lin Civi first would win the game or be super far ahead. So I think that was more the issue. Right, so insurmountable card advantage. Yes, so even though it was getting really bad Rebels, the fact that you could do Look it in your opponent Look at all this mana over there, guys. Oh, it's even got yeah, haste. Uh... And it's an ally. Ugh. I have lands oh, up, so though. Nice. I have arcane spells. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Desperate ritual. <laughs> oh, I, no. Blocker. Wait, is he from Desperate Zendikar? ritual is one of the very few ways. He is from Zendikar. Yeah, he is. Ugh. The, okay. the, the cow bison behind uh, him course. also has... Pill of, not pillar of ox. What's the other one? Oh, it's like a 3-6 or called? something. 2-5, something like that. All right, go away. I have a blocker. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> the 3-3 three, three as well. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna put that theory of stonewalling Seth to the test here with this three three. <laughs> you got me. I have arcade spells. Magic on my fingertips. Do I get another land drop? Do I get rewarded? No. 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 Get punished. Stop playing vampires. <laughs> what does so? What does Olivia actually do? Uh, she basically is a good madness enabler. So you can discard. Oh yes. gosh. Oh, oh no. What kind of? What kind of pump spell is in these colors? Uh, hmm. Let's think of limited <laughs> fodder he yeah. can play. <laughs> plus, plus one, plus zero, oh, first strike. That that seems very bad to be playing. Well, we're we're not gonna just keep getting punched in the face. So, the Bruce. Uh... No, really. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> Wait, no, that could dev. There's like a like madness enchantment stendia banquet or something like that, or you could like discard from madness cross and. Vampires get like plus one plus zero, oh. something like that. Yeah, the, the the red the red black land from original Innistrad. You turn that on, so on, bad. On, it's like four mana tap it, shoot someone for two. It's <laughs> yes, awful. it's uh, something blood hall. blood hall. So bad, yeah. This deck. <laughs> I oh, actually played that in standard before. Did you really? <laughs> what deck was that in? <laughs> I don't remember, but I remember I played it. Like, okay, yeah, we'll just use this as reach. Never happened. <laughs> I, I was getting mocked a lot for playing Grim Backward as a one-off in the Junk Reanimator deck in standard at the time. But I could, I could sack my Drag Tusk to, to, to draw a card and make a three-three. It was the best thing ever. Yeah, like the cost of utility lands is very low. The opportunity cost of using them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no! What is it's, a four man a rebel? It's I mean, rebel. It's rebel time. Um, I'm terrified. So many bad choices. Um, uh, what is the best? <laughs> well, I've done all this damage to Richard, and now he's just going to gain it back with Bruce Tull. Um, um, maybe. <laughs> if it works. Oh, maybe Modo is on our side. Okay. Oh, no, maybe. No, I mean, if somebody even had like a Condemn or a Swords or something. I guess that stops Olivia from attacking me. <laughs> Wait, how? Oh, it fly. Oh. <laughs> I was what? like, how does giving protection stop? We got him. 
the look the at, ultimate look at the blogger. Laugh at these rebels, but they're looking look, pretty good. <laughs> look at the art. They put like they put like wing dancing suits on. That's incredible. Uh, and here's yeah, Seth like, with a full board, like six cards in hand, looking wow, I, good. I have. They have the ropes and everything. They look like from Zendikar. Maybe they're the precursor. They are. Well, I'll, I'll play mine. I'll show you guys. <laughs> You can't just attack me because I'm attacking someone. That's not fair. Uh, you have a lot of life and no blockers. That vigilance. Yeah, and you can't attack me because I have all untapped lands. I'd go as far as to say that that steadfast guard is a little bit broken. <laughs> it's like a precinct captain without any abilities. Was precinct captain vigilant or was it first strike? I thought it was vigilance. Was it? I think was it's it first, first strike? strike. I think so. I can't remember. Now, now we're going to check. But it does make tokens. Yeah. Uh, I love Prison right. Captain. I wouldn't mind a reprint of that. Oh, stuff. only First Strike, not Vigilance. Probably would have been better with Vigilance, I guess. I guess it's a better. I don't know. Yeah, no, it would have been because you can attack a bit more, couldn't you? Oh, no. Look at Richard's like 15 <laughs> mana of all the colours. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out pretty well, actually. I, like, these fears were unwarranted, apparently. Yeah, Richard can play something really big here. Oh, my mana base is so bad, though, you guys. Your board state just looks like a normal commander deck. It actually kind of does. Richard yeah. looks like he's playing a real deck. Hey, I got to say, look, they're all allies. I didn't even know <laughs> this, Bruce everything was an here ally. is Zendikar. Okay, I got all of the right lands. <laughs> Not knowing if something's an ally is very on point for Zendikar block. For the never, for the return never to know. Zendikar. That's, what, that's like the original the block was fine. Allies. Wait a minute. Why is Bruce Tarr an ally? <laughs> Because he's an ally, obviously. Because he's an ally. That's, that's what he is. Uh. I, think, I think the other Boros one's also an ally, but who, you never know, really know with, with the return to, to battle for Zendikar ones. <laughs> uh, is Avenger of Zendikar an ally? Have they erased it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh what? He's clearly a, an ally, though. Oh, you, you can cut someone off of a Red. color. I, I have a funny feeling it's gonna be me. Red or black? I don't know. The person who's been killing me <laughs> and who has the scariest commander besides well, I, me. I can't kill any more because your creatures are infinitely better than mine. That's a world breaker! Wow. It's a world breaker. Don't worry. He's breaking the worlds of Zendikar. Give me fifteen more turns and I got this. <laughs> I kind of want to uh, see Tomer's forest go just because that's where all his ramp is, and he'll. Never I literally can't spell. play. I, I already can't play his spells. <laughs> You would do nothing. <laughs> this is exactly, I mean, other than Richard playing a real deck, this is how the Rebels were, were rooting for this to go down. Double mana screw. Rebels actually doing something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm actually helping your, your game plan here with the mana screw. Don't attack me, Richard. I can search up a Rebel with convert mana cost of five you or less. You can just straight up block, okay? Like, you don't even need to threaten your activation. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I have repelling scouts. <laughs> and you can block with the 1 3 and give yourself protection from color if you felt like it. I should have put in Imuzawa's Jute. Why did I take oh, it out? Why did I take it out? Would have that have been life. great on this board state, Tomer? A Jute. It would have been so good. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping for a game too so I can make a quick correction slash beg somebody for a Jute. GG. GG. I, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say, oh, the two mana is just. <laughs> because it's too. Wait, wait, the, the viewers don't know. Tover, why don't it's you have Umazawa's Jite, the most iconic card from Kamigawa, <laughs> okay. in your deck? So he, hear me out. Spirits cost a lot of mana. Arcane spells with splice cost a lot of mana. Oh my god, why are you doing this to me, deck? Ghost of Worth. You let me go first and then you do this to me. Toma, what? what you have four about? mana, but you can't cast anything. <laughs> I need other colors. <laughs> Who would have predicted that the five right. color, no basic land, no ramp mana base would? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's You know what you could have Here cast? Here she is comes. A, a new, what? Was, was, I was Jute. You could have cast that because it's colorless. <laughs> I don't have any lands to put in, but she's here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why? This is lovely. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have six. Just tell the rebels drew it up. I'm gonna anyway. keep up a mountain though, so you don't attack me. Well, <laughs> what uh, is what's going? On? Seth's getting his pick of. We're just gonna keep here. doing rebel-y things. We Rebels low key best deck at the table. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's drawn the most cards out of all of us. He's a white over here. I think like the best rebel card 
is that time spiral <laughs> one that it's a pacifism it's a tribal rebel <laughs> How about oh, remote in sky? How about what remote about in sky marshal? <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty good. What 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 is like the six drop rebel? Is it good? It's probably it's like terrible. a four four flyer. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Non basic lands. Wow. Oh oh wow. Oh wait, does it do anything? No, it's not a Richard and port. Oh, you just get a Richard and port. You can port oh. Vince every turn. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> you could help Richard win some more by uh, porting me off. That'd be good. But the entertainment value of that <laughs> through the roof. Could Elmer you pl play? Has the highest like life. How dare you? What? He has a spirit to block. I it. do have like a spirit to block. Like onto arcane or something. What, what does he do? Soul shift. Soul shift. I'm going to allow this, but <laughs> mark my words, Seth. The spirits will have a reckoning in 15 more turns. <laughs> Give me 15 uh, more turns and some white mana and some blue mana. Uh, Alright, we'll just keep passing, I guess. Richard's just going to win. Probably. Unless he runs out of cards. I, I didn't know everyone was going to play... Well, not everyone. I guess you, you two would play <laughs> terrible decks. <laughs> I just built a Zendikar This deck. deck is actually really sweet if it draws hey. the right lands, all right? Don't disrespect the Rebels. In 15 That's turns. I'm, I'm say... going to die to the hands of the Rebels. I know how powerful Mono White Tribes can be. <laughs> it's no laughing matter. Oh. Uh... This works so much better in my head. In practice, <laughs> I looked at the I think it's like the five color mana base, and I decided it was impossible. So I give you props for trying, but I feel like I feel like that's like Kamigawa summed up perfectly. <laughs> like props for trying. I think it's a good in theory. I think it is literally the worst cycle of dual lands that has <laughs> maybe ever been printed. They're Probably. so incredibly bad. <laughs> they punish you for playing them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they tap do. for colorless, and if you want to, maybe you want the luxury of mana, any kind. You have to, it unta you can't untap the next turn. It's the worst. <laughs> did you actually not end up playing them? Because I didn't run them bad? because they were worse than basics. <laughs> maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I need to run all. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's a Zendikar resurgent. You need my mana base is so bad, you guys. <laughs> I'm really worried. About the mana base. I feel base. like decks might be slightly differing in power level this week. It, Someone it needs worked. to kill Sendikar Resurgent. Try to get through my World Breaker. I don't think there's a rebel <laughs> for that. There's no O ring Maybe, rebel? Wait, can, can somebody we, ramp me? Should we try me? to kill. Hey, Vince, do you want to attack Richard? If I tutor up a way to stop World. Uh, to keep World Breaker from blocking? What, what, is, what does that achieve? I'm, uh oh, I'm, I'm I guess. I'm listening, I'm listening. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe we just gotta kill him. Like, maybe we should all be trying to kill Richard, because all of our decks <laughs> suck and his deck is good. That, that was the I only mean, conclusion here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I did, I did start doing that the first couple of turns, but um, we've now descended... I'm out of the game. I can't cast anything. Well, everything in, my, everything in my hand is either black or costs more than four. Well, I'm so, gonna deal with... But I mean, I'm our powers anyway. combined, we can topple the great Eldrazi menace known as Richard. Oh no, it's a white flyer! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's white only, flyer. It's only a one-one. So only I mean, you don't have to attack, but I'm going to do this now. So if you feel like you would like to attack, you can. I can certainly try. He'll get Worldbreaker back this turn, though, and then probably. Yeah, blow up if you if you hit lands. me, Vince, he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe have... I'll let you get some lands and play a game. He oh doesn't have any uh, colorless <laughs> mana, though. I was really hoping for the rebel pacifism. That would have. Wait, is there a rebel pacifist? There is, yeah. there is a rebel pacifist. But it's not from Macadia, though, is it? Uh, I do have it in or my deck it? because it is rebel-y, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, technically. It's not from the set of Marcadian Mass. It's from Time Spiral, but Time Spiral is weird and has stuff from all different planes, so. Why? Can you draw, can you draw two lands. <laughs> I, I, I drew explore. a 12 mana spell. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? A 12 mana spell? What? Is that like the really expensive spirit? It is. Oh, uh, what is the name of that? I can't remember. All right, It's well, the thing you don't want to hit in Momir, because it's so bad. Here I go, not doing anything. Or do I do I attack Richard? No. I guess he can block. Oh, for, for the viewers at home as well, I should explain, Soren Markov is from, Zen, from Innistrad. That's why I've allowed myself to play that version of Soren. But I probably should have done because of how bad my mana base is. You still have the mana to do this? You're not even waiting for me to discard. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> I guess that's that's fine. 
I guess I could get a lot of flyers, so maybe that's a, a way to do things. And buy an unspeakable. Oh, wow, that thermal glider in the art. Is that the Tower of the Magistrate? You know, the land that gives uh, oh. protection from artifacts? Uh, I think be. it might be, actually. Oh, is it? That's really cool. All right. Control red. Oh, boy. Texture for red, wow. <laughs> He's actually going to be able to deal with the entire board. Oh, well, we're going at Richard. Oh, my God, this 2-2 cool. two, two steadfast guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steadfast Guard has done a lot of work this oh, game. Oh wait, should I should I double block and throw away my guys for this <laughs> Steadfast Guard? Um, the rebels are actually getting some work done. I'm <laughs> kind of impressed. <laughs> oh no, he could. <laughs> what, Bruce? No, <laughs> I, I gotta wait another turn to get rid of Bruce Tarl, but <laughs> that's that's my way to stop this aggro against me. <laughs> it's like the world's worst combo. I could. Sack it to exile something, then pay three mana to put it back on the bottom of my deck, then pay three more mana to tutor it up and exile something else. <laughs> uh, rebels. It's it's doing it. It's getting there. <laughs> Richard is almost out of cards. <laughs> That's the thing with rebels. You're just not going to run out of cards to put on the battlefield. That's that is well. They're like half cards, I think. Each one is worth they're like half, half of what anyone else's card, but they do just keep coming. So eventually, they add up to full cards. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty happy with how it's went so far, and I got high market. So if anyone tries to lightning bolt my thing, I can gain a life. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, what does high market do? Oh, <laughs> go up to forty-one. You, you can also sacrifice your ATB re rebels and then re put them on the bottom of your library with Lim Lin Sivy, then re tutor them. Oh, that's true. That's a uh, another combo maybe this deck is just great and everyone <laughs> should be playing rebels and commander oh, I, I wonder okay. how low lincevy was on least popular commanders <laughs> that's a good question i should look that up i i every single time we do viewer submitted somebody at least one person uh posts a lincevy deck that looks awful so <laughs> i feel like it's somewhat popular because people really like the concept but i mean i guess maybe it works a little bit better than i gave credit for you got your steadfast cards. You your <laughs> yep, thermal gliders, <laughs> law bringers. Sky marshals. <laughs> it's doing it. All right, here's here's General Tazri. Here's here's the big guns. Can he activate him right now? Uh, mm, yes, maybe. I don't know. Wait, I'm does not it? On doing. I'm, I'm using the, the tutor ability. Oh, I guess the... you could. Yeah. Yeah, Bruce Tall can like wallop someone here for like gain himself twenty life or something ridiculous. I have arcane spells in hand. I would not <laughs> encourage attacks my way. I mean, I've got to draw another land at some point. There's 38 of them and three mana rocks. One okay. of which I can cast with my current arrangement, so you never know. Is 38 too low? Should I be playing like 50 because I don't have any, <laughs> any decent fixing? Is that how this works? No, 38 is uh, pretty good. 36 for like very low um, curves. 36, 35 for very low curves. And then, like yeah, 38. Exactly. I think. Only like ten of my creatures are full. No, I've always been an advocate of about like half your deck being uh, mana, but that includes mana rocks and stuff like that. If you want to have like yeah, yeah. a mid range That's why I was wondering if I should play fifty lands because there's there's hardly any mana rocks in the Innistrad block. <clears throat> but I only have fifteen creatures that cost more than four, more than three. Sorry, because they're all little vampires. But um, I've, I've drawn four of them. Yeah, if I did this again, I would take Azusa out for another land. <laughs> <laughs> but is that uh, is that just a bit biased from one one small sample size? Well, know? it's not like I have a billion lands to drop down with Azusa anyway. I was just so desperate for any source of mana. Do you have any moon rent. folk at all? No, I have a full Azusa list. Allows you to replay the lands, doesn't it? I have spirits and arcane. Spirits and arcane. It's why you should play blue green moon folk. It's fine. I really wanted to build enduring good deal for that one. So that that build is done. Maybe I'll do Moonfolk again, and I'll do the the more acceptable Simic Moonfolk. Even then, it's not very good. Oh but, my oh, god! Oh my! Really? <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. You're gonna need some way to deal with all of this. Oh. Wow. That's Wait, not fun. I get it. He's he's sniping all the flyers. I'm sniping the flyers here. Jesus. <laughs> and now Richard's back up to five cards in hand, too. Oh. Yeah. That's not good. Hang on, why is it up to five cards? What happened? Oh. 
Sergeant. Yeah, I think Zendikar resurgent <laughs> mostly. Let me stop Seth's plan of trying to flyer me out here. <laughs> oh, I only appreciate shoots, it. Oh, this currently only shoots one. Okay. I mean, he's going to have other allies, obviously, but at least only one of the flyers is getting killed. Are Zendikar there any... a pretty good plane. I don't know if there's... I wonder if there's an ally that saves me from this. Or not ally. Rebel. Is there not like a cleric rebel that gives you like prevent the next X damage? Probably anything? needs to be tapped if there is. Uh, who knows? Who knows? In the wonderful right, who world knows of... what rebels? It feels like there should be some good ETB rebels, but that's probably right. why they're not played because there aren't any. Yeah, I don't think there's any ETB rebels, unfortunately. So what is? How does this work? Let's see. Oh uh, wait, what? Zendikar Resurgent doesn't actually work. What? Whenever you tap the land, add one mana of any type that land can produce. But it doesn't give me that. No, option. no, can not can that land produced. So if yeah, you tap that it land for white, it will give you another white. Oh, oh, okay. That that was not exciting as I thought it would be. Oh, it only doubles what, what all your thing? mana, and gives oh, you a card draw, draws and cards, and <laughs> a creature. I guess the problem is he can't activate Tazri this turn now. Yeah, that's what I was the... trying to do. That's a shame uh, you can't double strike with a 8-8 uh, or whatever it would be. Bladed Cataracts. Bring back the uh, ball breaker. Oh, that is colorless, you're right. So if I sacrifice the land, and then how much mana does this guy make? A lot. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is much. Right? Five, so 7, yeah. 8, 9... Wait, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? <laughs> so I will bring back World Breaker. Well, well, who should I use this world breaker on? I must mm. warn you, I have arcane spells. <laughs> <laughs> it feels bad, but I need to end the game. <laughs> but I mean, Vin Vince is done for if I just remove the mountain. Seth is the biggest threat, but he has all planes, and like this does nothing to him. That is true. I'm not super scared of world breaker at the you moment. You don't have an enchantment or an artifact. And Tomer. <laughs> I, I feel I feel I feel like Oh boy. Any really, card. We need a See disenchant. <laughs> what? <laughs> you because monster. Vince is pretty far away from recovering. You <laughs> are close to doing something legitimate. Am I? Seth doesn't just doesn't do Did you see what Seth. I discarded? Look at what I discarded, Richard. Hey, you said you said Edgar had to control the board, but it turns out the chief in town is Bruce Tarl, and he's controlling the board, okay? <sighs> no, the chief in town is uh, blowing up my lands. <laughs> <laughs> World breaker. Uh, I can't feel bad for you losing a land, Vince. You did Cataclysm, uh, Cataclysm don't, don't, last don't week. Don't forget, though. Don't forget <laughs> I did that because I've had lands blown up previously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Considering so that's, considering that's, this, that's true. It's, Does that mean like get, next week we're gonna get stasis locked? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. It's just funny because I get told off being too spiky, and this is the only EDH playgroup I've ever seen that screws people out of lands with land destruction. Like it was I understand playing white. Ruin. It was a world breaker. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm out of the game. I'm, I'm done. I'm gone. I am dead. Let's not forget how this started. I was down to 27 life when I had to world breaker Because this. you have, like, a top tier deck. <laughs> so do you. That's why we're no, killing each other. No, I don't. I've got a vampire interloper wait, 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 in my wait. hand. And then he got I've rid got of my forest. <laughs> that is a flying vampire Vince scout is that done for currently, block. so Tover's the next one that the land destruction actually works against. Ouch. Oh, once again, I've been targeted because my commander's so scary, but my cards are terrible. <laughs> now you know the secret. Don't play strong commanders with terrible cards. Do it the other way. <laughs> play <laughs> terrible commander and then strong Apparently, cards. Apparently, hidden, hidden secret is Richard's Richard secret. Yeah. Mercadian plane. <gasps> yes! Another forest? I hit a plains. I don't, I don't oh. need forests. Well, oh, I, wanted, I wanted lanes so I could cast my spells, but now I can cast <laughs> a spell. <laughs> I... Can you Let's can you see. play something that draws a card and you can use Azusa <laughs> to play your second land? Does anyone actually have Rass in their set? There were uh, no Rass. I in do. My set. I need eight mana. Yeah, I, I have like two or three, I, maybe four. I but need, it doesn't matter. I, I need eight mana <laughs> to get there. Weirdly enough, though, actually there is one in my set that I could actually play for one red. I've got Blasphemous Act. But... Oh. Oh. Did you just draw your land and pass, Tomer? I can cast a spell. All right. <laughs> I have All arcane right. spells. Well, let's. Rebel. It's on you, Seth. It's on you to stop the Aldrazi menace. <laughs> the allies. 
The problem is the allies just shoot down all my... Yeah, stop getting flyers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> well, you can exile Bruce at least with Lawbringer, so yay. So he stopped gaining life. There's not too many good options. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Wait, what? What is that core there rebel killing? Yay. <laughs> it's like a lizard man. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. a shark? What? What is that? A turtle? <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know what that's killing. Is it a Frexian of some kind? It's probably like a Vyashino. You know. Oh, no, that was yeah, a yeah, Street yeah. Shark. Yeah, yeah. You guys are Street Sharks when you're younger, right? It's like a, they're like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they're sharks, and they can they can go under the ground. <laughs> I didn't know about that. And why why is my world like a pound inside? <laughs> it's a rebel. <laughs> that's a card. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa. Wow, is that a rebel? It's, okay. it's not a rebel, but it's from That's a wrath. It's from my set and in my colors. That's a legit wrath. I don't like where this is going. And it doesn't even have flying, which is oddly an upside at the moment. There might be a rebel. Uh, There's probably going to be an ally that was like takes it out. Yeah, I'm sure there there probably is. Oh, I'd be so happy if I could just get a disenchant for that Zendikar resurgent, but now every time I gotta look at my deck to see if I have anything to do. Oh, you have just so much mana. I don't even want to count. Uh, but I'm about to not have a board. How do we kill that with allies? There is no Necrotal ally. Isn't there an ally that deals with creatures or no? I'm kind of hoping there's there isn't, sure. but I'm... There's Wh- got Richard currently has nine times the amount of mana that I do. <laughs> <laughs> I may be directly responsible for, for that as well. Uh, oh, okay, I know it. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. Uh, it is a bring to light. Yep. Oh, wait, no, I read Bring to Light wrong. <laughs> I wanted to get something else. What? I thought you, I could oh, get you were looking card. for an Hold enchantment? On. Yeah, I was looking for something else. Ooh, is my Wrath going to survive? That would be it awesome. Might, it might actually survive. Yeah, I wanted to go get an enchantment, but you cannot get an enchantment. Yeah, Bring to Light gets a lot of things, but not quite everything. Yeah, do I have an instant speed way of making an ally? What is? No, I do not. Okay, well, I guess I'll just play this thing if I can find it. Ew. Whoa. Okay. okay. So instead, you're just gonna try to kill me. I see. Can the rebels survive? You probably want to exile that Bruce. Does it give trample? No. How many flyers do you have? Mm, two. Uh, wait, where's your other flyer? One's tapped from attacking you. Oh. And then the pro-red thing. All right, I'll get rid of the pro-red thing. Yep. I'm not really dead, am I? That would be excessive. <laughs> <laughs> that would be excessive. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Don't you, you just Don't you activate Tazri here and hit for, like... Yeah, but I, I don't think I can kill Seth. I don't have Trample, but... but. Oh, what a shame. So I, I was looking at my deck for a card to deal with that creature. And but it, <laughs> it was in my hand this entire time. Oh, no. Oh, it's like no. a pyromancer or something. It deals direct damage. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that one. Uh, I was looking. I'm like, there must be something. But it was in my hand. So I was just being dumb. Uh, okay. Well, there goes my my one wrath. I think we're dead. I don't think we're dead this turn. Next turn. Uh, so last flyer if- is Olivia because Seth can give this guy pro whatever. If I get four oh, more lands... I see how it is. <laughs> if you get four more lands, that's... Could happen. I don't think it can. <laughs> Trying to remain optimistic. Just, oh. He just needs to delay for like ten more turns and then we'll be fine. Marcadia! Not known for its good, re- <laughs> good removal spells, unfortunately. <laughs> Actually, wait. What is? Hold on. I got. I got to read my cards. So, was it when you cast an ally, or is it when something enters the battlefield? Nah. It's an ETB, isn't it? I believe oh, all the ETB. allies are enter the battlefield. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can win. <laughs> oh. What is happening? Maybe I can win. We'll see. So I make four allies. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of rallying. Oh. Uh, okay. So this doesn't work anymore. Well, I can help. Yeah. Maybe sort of keep us alive, ish. That would have been a lot of damage. I mean, well, it's still I, a lot think, of pumping. I think someone's still dead. Like, I'm probably dead. And or Toma's probably dead. 
I guess I also have to be fair, you haven't got enough blockers to block all of this. No, I can only block a couple of things. But I guess he can't activate Tazri now, so there is that. Yeah, can't activate Tazri. But I think this is more pumps than Tazri, isn't it? Mmm. Yeah? No. Maybe? Yeah, I think it is. That's like plus eight, plus eight. That's. Ugh. That's a lot. I need a way to give my guys haste, but I don't think I. Why is the world bringer bigger? Because it gives all my creatures plus two, plus two. Oh. oh. That's like the new allies. What? What? Why does it give all creatures? <laughs> Why? Because it's confused that it's helping the Eldrazi <laughs> Venice. Like, I don't, I, what do you want me to? <laughs> what do you want me to do about that? Battle for Zendikar uh, just was not. It did not make a lot of sense on many levels. I'm almost done, guys. Hold on. I mean, if you kill us fast, then we can <laughs> maybe have time right. for a second game. I have like two things I want to do to the deck. I'm going to add two more lands. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take out the Zusa and I put a throw in my Jute. Uh, I'll guess I'll add some more lands and hopefully they'll stop people from blowing up mine. It was one. Yeah, it was yeah. just one. Exploder, <laughs> one world right? breaker. No, no, no. I think this is a third commander clash this season that I can put back a land. All right. If only I draw I'm, I'm one more. Here. So, we so we're dead. Tracks. No, because I don't have trample. You guys can just chump away, right? Yeah, I don't think. I don't think anyone's. You also can't attack dead. with a lot of creatures. You only have three, four creatures to attack with. with all four things, me or Tome or one of us, we die. No, to yeah. No, no. no you guys think no. just trump everything. You guys all have enough to live through everything. Oh, wait, maybe not. I mean, Vince would die. I don't. If you swing everything at me, I just die. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense if you kill me, in all fairness, because. Yeah, because I'm you have the, the Blasphemous can, Act. I'm the only one who can draw Blasphemous Act. Yeah, that's table. why I had to redo this attack. And now I could scoop to stop all the life gain by winning. That, so that, that, that is a scumbag movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I hate yes. it. I really hate it. I think I've only I've only had to scoop prematurely one time because I didn't want to showcase what my deck was doing. I think what it was, was like when Seth was milling me out. Or somebody was milling me out, and I didn't want to show that I was playing an enduring ideal deck because I wanted to run it back the next time. And I was like, ah, I scoop prematurely. It didn't oh, affect. It didn't affect the game. Up. I could have killed lost. someone with Tazri and Bruce. Oh uh, yeah, that was a that was a good turn. And wow. Richards, I don't know. One hundred thirteen life. I don't know if at, uh, rebels can deal one hundred thirteen. <laughs> I hit a forest. <laughs> no, you guys, I'm getting them. there. Uh, I need one blue, and then I can cast my commander. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I'll see what I draw, but I'm pretty sure we're we're both just dead. Uh, rebel. One more island. One more plains. One Jute, and then this deck might be able to. <laughs> I, I still you didn't you didn't flash anything in that turn, so I, <laughs> you made it to four mana and still didn't cast. Um, is, is this six drop tribal? The mana base is not not good here. Oh wow, these rebels don't like <laughs> colors. Rakdos. <laughs> they persevere, don't they? As well. Wow. Oh hang on, no wrong one. Oh ballista. It doesn't really do anything good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, and that might be it. I think it should be. Do your worst, Richard. All right. Um, look, I untap land finally. Okay, we play this. This is also an ally, by the way. <laughs> Why are they an ally? <laughs> Why? Because Bow for Zendikar is weird, and design just gave up. Okay. <laughs> I wish. I wish it also said all your lands are also allies. Or some nonsense as well. Just to be like, you know what? The weird thing is they got everything so right the first time around with Zendikar. Like, each ally would come into play and it would have, like, a thing that keyed based on allies. It was very simple. It was like Tajuru Archer. Whenever it comes into play or another ally enters the battlefield, it does something. And you're like, wow, that's why it's an ally. I feel like the second Zendikar block was, wasn't even a Zendikar block. It doesn't feel like one anyway. It was it's War of the Worlds said. or something. Yeah, like, like I always thought we went back to Zendikar would have some sort of post-apocalyptic, you know, the, the survivors living in the shadow of the Titans, but instead we just had another war, which we'd had in, like, 15 blocks prior. Oof. It's like it's not like we had never seen a war before, was it, in Magic? Are you so, just oh, killing Seth and not me as well? I don't know. I didn't do the math. I was lazy. I don't think you attacked me. Does this kill Seth, though? Probably. Uh, 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 yeah. You wait. Yeah. Holy do. Rebel, I go, go, go. I could, have, I could have attacked. <laughs> One mana Holy Day Rebel? Spore Frog? Mm. Rebel? Unfortunately, Rebels don't do anything even that good. <laughs> yeah. 
Good Are we game. doing another game, or should I show my final? I'm going to show my final card. Yeah, let's do it. What is your final card? Spiritual visit. I ping you for one. <laughs> I make what? a. I make. Oh, a splice onto arcane. That's. I don't have enough mana. mana to splice onto arcane. <laughs> Good thing you drew that. It'll vanish. Good thing I drew that Azusa. Oh, here we go. Oh, now you can cast two All right. one mana white spells. Can I? Can I? Can I concede? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you. A, I'll give you the attack. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't want. <laughs> I'm at two twenty eight right now. I'll take some damage. All right. Let's see. Let's see what you can do. All right. I'll just finish you off fast by giving all my creatures pro white. No blocks. Wait. I don't actually want to kill your Yosei, right? <laughs> I don't think it matters. Really, I'm the last person. You can tap all my stuff, right? Yeah, but you're gonna. But he's gonna oh, be oh, dead. oh! Don't, don't kill it with the Jure Archer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That deck was uh, a lot more powerful than what I was expecting the table to bring. <laughs> I think it's. Actually, <laughs> I just play Zendikar cards, man. <laughs> I think it's partly a product of the block thing, because normally I'd have a bunch of Rass and it would deal with it, but I'm in a block that just doesn't have that as an option. I, uh, I, I made some mistakes building the deck. I think it should. It needs. A minimum of 40 lands, and... Yeah. and the, the other thing with allies is that um, all the allies are in that block, so you're not, like, missing any key allies, are you? Yeah, you're not Where... missing allies, you're just missing, like, pump spells and things like that, but that doesn't matter too much because the allies pump themselves. Yeah, you, ha you have all of the ally payoffs and enablers in the same block. Where, like, um, with spirits, there's other spirits from other sets, like Innistrad, that obviously Toma can't have access to... Uh, Seth, that there's some rebels that you can't access because they're actually from a different block. Mm -hmm. There's loads of good vampires. Like I, I, I first started out going, oh, I'm gonna put all these cards in from Ixalan. Um, from Ixalan, not realizing they were Ixalan cards, like Twilight Shepherd. I just thought it was a um, uh, Shadows of Indistract card, and it wasn't. I was like, oh, that's a shame. So there's loads of that sort of well, stuff. Oh, it's also the plain so. like Richard was the first person to pick Zendikar. He like, I mean, first person to pick a plane. He's like, I picked Zendikar. And then afterwards, knowing that he picked Zendikar, I picked Kamigawa, which is already like a plane kind of lower on that. And then Sith picked Mercadia, which again, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> not. I knew but I was going to know why I chose mode. Zendikar. I wanted to make Core Tribal. Oh. And then I built the deck, and it was all literally like tutus, but they have no abilities, and there's no lords or <laughs> pump spells in the deck, so I'm like just literally playing grizzly bears. Oh, so it sounds so I'm like, like oh wait, deck. allies the other tribe. <laughs> so I switched to allies. Did you just load the last deck again? Uh, it might have been a moonfolk deck. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been smart. <laughs> you could oh, cast your oh, spells in a moonfolk deck. I got it. <laughs> Yes. This hand, this. this hand actually can cast something on turn two. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. It's not a good hand, but it will maybe get there. So who knows? Keep. I need some ramp. How many ramp cards are there? Like three. There's Sakura Tribe Elder. There's Kadama's Kadama Reach. Reach. Yeah. There's Loam Dweller. Uh, Petal Main Baku. <laughs> um, I took out Azusa. Uh, long forgotten Gohei and Honorworn Shaku. <laughs> okay, so that's like six. I that's tried. Not, <laughs> it's not that bad. It was a bad draw. It's funny because I, I don't really know what any of those cards do. <laughs> They're so unplayed. Honorworn Shaku. Sure I've seen them in a Chaos Draft. Uh, spiked in price when the Legend Rule was. It's like you can you tap a un, you can tap a legendary permanent to untap it. It has for one colorless. Oh, that's not uh, that bad. Hopefully I just keep drawing lands. 40 lands. Ooh. Gotta find that. Richard with the untap land. That's yeah. that's unfair. Good I, mana I, I, I and literally an have six land. sources. <laughs> six sources of untapped mana. I'm Ooh, actually, what does this do? I'm actually kind of scared of Vince's deck. I bet his deck is actually really good if he's not mana screwed. Oh, don't, don't you start this, <laughs> oh, Seth. Wait. You'll understand why I'm saying this. I'm playing what is probably the best card in my deck. You're the thing you played last turn. Shuffle. What? What is that? Target non-token permanent. Oh <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> All right, it's so you can put your rebels back in your library and tutor them up again if someone tries to kill them. <laughs> Deals damage to target creature equal to. I can't wait to they. I can't wait to they go back to rebels in like return to Macadia and then everything will be a rebel, like everything. There'll be rebel lands, and then it'll probably be, be yeah. Then this deck would be insane if you could like tutor up lands. Oh, that'd be so great.
Uh, I'm hitting, I, I hit a land, so I have four lands now available to me. I'm pretty excited. Ooh, Aaron Mesa. Expedition. Expedition. Untapped lands. It would have been better if I used Expedition map to go fetch my Expedition, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what, what can you do? Oh, Vince has real mana now. Well, trying to send. I mean, well, I'm just, that's, worry, that's from I'm my plane. The... It, it's really <laughs> that's just. My it's just there. really whoever gets on top of like whoever wins the battle between Richard and Vince, and then hopefully means one of me or Seth can can stabilize from there. That's pretty much it. I hope that's that they really like, attack each other it's down like to one the... life, and then we sneak in for that last point of damage. No, it's... no, I'll attack for ten, and then he'll stabilize and make a billion mana and kill everyone. That's what's gonna happen. I, I need my nut draw of like mana dorks into Zenikar Research in into Bruce Tarl. Bruce Tarl's so good. This is oh a whoa. God. Oh boy, Olivia. Olivia again. All right, like yeah, Vince. The, the Pretty sure Vince is gonna deck. win. <laughs> you got mana screwed. That's the, the reason why you didn't go off. Yep, I got screwed pretty bad. Um, well, yeah. Mm. All right, <laughs> Commander, let's start doing the. You rebel got a blocker. Thing. You got you got a blocker. <laughs> it's ready. It's there. Stopping those one ones. The, I'm trying the, my six. He's drops. got the vampires that grow. <laughs> they won't be able to block for I long. I really need to find a ghostly prison. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> ghostly prison only affects you, right? Yeah, it only affects Tomer. Good. Can you still not cast anything? I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Landtron is being assembled, folks. What is? What do you think the average converted mana cost to your deck is? It's not... Oh, I could tell you. Is it um, ridiculously high or not really? Uh, I know a lot of spirits it's above tend to be average. Over, a little bit over-costed sometimes. It's a, it's a, Does I, anyone think Richard's mana base looks a little less impressive this time around? I was telling you guys, it's a little dodgy. <laughs> Sometimes it's not going to work out. But hold on. This looks starkly different average to the, uh, 15 man lands. Average converted <laughs> mana cost is usually uh, on the low side of 3 point something, like 3.2 to 3.5. This one is 3.93, so yeah, it's a little bit high. It's a tad high. I have a bunch of like 5 drops and 6 drops in my hand. Are you playing any cool rats from Kamigara? Cool really? rats. I'm, I'm a spirit hurricane deck. I know, I know you are, but I think you might play like like one or two of the really good ones, like um Ink Eyes or Grave Robber. She's like a six drop. Yeah, you seem to like your six drops. You can't cast. <laughs> I was looking for for if there's any support cards, they have to be cheap. So like Ghostly Prison, I threw in. I would have thrown in a Jute if I had one. That seemed actually like a, a legit card, uh, just to buy time. Well, you just slap it onto any creature, and you start getting some charge counters, and then maybe you can fend off people. Don't mind me. Ooh, painful truth. Just paying life when I'm dying. Because <laughs> I need to fix my mana. <laughs> <laughs> you drew three, and now you have to discard two to hand size. That's yeah. not the I, best thing. 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 Welcome to Commander Clash. Mana, right? <laughs> Cycling. <laughs> Amiri Shepard, okay. Uh, Seth and Tober, how do you feel that Rich has drawn more cards than you guys have now? Is it making you... Is your, are your palms sweating? Uh, a little bit, it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, itching for that card draw. I need my Mercadian. Oh my god, what's it called? Atlas. Mercadian Atlas. Bad That'll news, show guys. Him. Wow. No vampires for me. What is this? Ooh. It's like bad mana rock that hurts people. What does it do when it transforms? Yeah. It becomes an Eldrazi reflection. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You don't know. I don't. I don't. Aurora of Emrakul? I, I skipped Eldritch Moon Limited, apparently. I don't know what this does. Well, it's it's one of the only three mana rocks I could find in the whole of like in the Strad's card pool. I wish I had something to tap for all colors. But Mythic Spoiler is actually kind of inconsistent for old sets. So I was looking through Mythic Spoiler for um, Dark Ascension, and it didn't have any of the gold cards for some reason. Hmm. So it's pretty really weird. All right. Uh, go. And then Civvy's online, everyone. Yeah, watch out! The two twos are coming. <laughs> all righty. I wonder if they'll make more rebels in the future. How, how much? Oh my goodness! It costs six man to cast my common. All right. So we're gonna play through two full games, and Tomer will cast zero cards. <laughs> I'm, Watch. I, I, I don't know what I. <laughs> what can I do? This <laughs> deck. <laughs> uh, Just cast anything, Tomer. Just so you can say you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> 
Um, you have like Megatron too. You have oh. four yeah, colors. You have four I'm colors. Four. I know it's, it's pretty and you legit. You still can't cast anything. I can. I get tutor for a legendary creature card. Ooh. Okay. But <laughs> what time of need is it? I'm kind of far away from casting any of my wipes, so there's that. Oh, so you have board wipes in hand, huh? I do not have any board wipes in hand. I could tutor for a board wipe. Wait, there's a tutor? Well, a legendary board wipe. But I can't cast them. Oh, do you have, like, really expensive creature board wipes? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, like Miosian uh, of something something? Infinite Rage? Is that the board wipe? Was the wipe? I think the Infinite like the Rage, card. I think, blows up all your lands. Yeah. Yes, because mm. I put it into my Samut deck <laughs> and took it back out again. I was again. just cast time of need. Margin of Infinite Love, the white one. What is the white one called? It's a pretty good tutor. Ooh. Infinite Justice. I don't remember what the white one's called. This one. I think that card's borderline playable, like in like Eternal. We're getting to the point where there's enough good legendaries that I could see play in like a non rotating format like Mono Legacy eventually. I think the problem with them is it, it doesn't work if you cheat them into play, right? Don't you have to like cast them from oh. your hand? Yeah, sorry, I was talking about Time of Need. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking. Sorry, I, I jumped, I jumped from Miosian. one conversation like, topic to eh, another. I don't know if anyone's going to play yeah. Miosian. <laughs> Time if you cast them with Omniscience, though. Look, on. untap land. Man, Richard's great Wait, man. Yeah. Don't play a blocker. Oh, blocker. A blocker. I don't care what you do. You block. <laughs> except. Oh, this is like the oh. repeatable goblin. It's, you don't know. You don't put it in your hand. You just it's stack not them. not terrible. Oh, you stack them? Oh, that, yeah, is, you stack. that is pretty it's terrible. Not, it's not as good as you think it is. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty terrible. If it was ringleader on every ally, that'd be insane. I remember. Is it? It's not May, is it? Oh, you, you may look, but once you look, I, oh, hang on. Do I have to put this here? <laughs> I don't want it. So you have to put the allies on top and the other cards on bottom, right? So like, yeah. this is terrible. In limited, I think it pushed your removal spells to the bottom of your yeah. deck. All right. Well, I guess I take this card I don't want. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. No, I have to. Okay, I'll put it on. Mm, not what I wanted, but sure. <laughs> I like how it doesn't put it in your hand. World breaks <laughs> in the graveyard. So bad. Yep. I noticed. But I'm getting out from under it. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, the mana I, I think you're good. good. I don't think I'll be sacrificing my one color lands to <laughs> destroy your lands. I guess I cast Edgar. Oh, now his team gets big. Wait, does he? He himself triggers himself, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. no. When you cast another vampire. Another vampire. Oh, jeez. And it has haste, too? Makes yeah, him very balanced, though. He's balanced. His first strike, and then he pumps all his dorks. Right? Yeah. Strike, right? yeah. I can't feel too bad about the mana screw vents. <laughs> can't really. I, I'd blow up a land of yours if I had the chance. <laughs> yeah. If I saw it, you're a mark of it. too late. <laughs> Oh whatever! You just someone will blow up a land next week. It's just it's just how it goes, right? You... Because you're playing Edgar Markov, you got to blow up the lands. I play Kamigawa Spirits, and I got my forest exiled. <laughs> so block. Yeah, I, I do Vampire. feel a little bad for, for you, Tomer, because it, you. <laughs> it's just the way it goes, I guess. Yeah, well, whoa, the game was getting wrapped up, but that was the right move. You need to just get away from Kamigawa themes. <laughs> no. I'm gonna make it work. The, the YouTube the reason demands why they it. haven't brought Kamigawa back. They watched Homer. They're like, oh, this, <laughs> this like, place awful. We can't bring the suffering to the masses. I'll keep playing well, it. Here's an idea. Why don't we, for that week we haven't decided on, should we do Kamigawa week? No, please no. Oh my god. I I'll Ooh. play any other format. Like <laughs> all your creatures have zero black. power for that. <laughs> it has to be Kamigawa plane only week. No, no. Yes. Oh no, actually, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I still think Mono White Week is the is the one. Mono White Week's pretty pretty sweet. Haha, -ha, rebels. I'm fine with that. Saving <laughs> saving the world. Don't exile my Ryuse. <laughs> I was thinking about Edgar Markov actually, but I can oh, save please. it for Ryuse if you'd rather. But he I can actually. Makes oh, I can't even kill <laughs> the commands Edgar because he's freaking huge. This is ridiculous. Yeah, my oh, board wow. wipe doesn't even work anymore. The like, oh, Avenger is actually pretty good. How many like? Rattlesnake style effects? Do you have? That's all that. Over there. That's What's all. A rattlesnake. <laughs> I've never heard this term. You know, like a d d you like know, a on board on board trick, basically. Yeah. Uh, d don't attack me, or I'll do this. Uh, maybe I've heard so that term like... before. 
Well, that's which you, yeah, you don't use rattlesnake switches. You just stay very quiet and then yeah, we don't we don't put threatening things on the board that people can misinterpret. Five color Tron has been assembled, <laughs> oh, everyone. So so lucky. And now he's gonna pass the turn. Yep. I don't have spells to cast. <laughs> if you have every single color and seven cards in hand and you can't cast a spell, I don't. I, I can't. I can't this feel seems bad. Like you two can attest definitely. right now. Look at my head. Look at my commander. Look at what I can cast. Uh, next turn. Next turn, you can do something. <laughs> I was actually thinking people would be playing like slower decks because we're s restricted to planes, but I chose my wrong. My deck was really slow last game. Well, I uh, kept up my end of the bargain. What was your end of the bargain? What bargain? <laughs> playing a slow deck. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know that was part of it. Otherwise, I was going to play that terrible is it deck. <laughs> uh, no, I I don't think there was actually a bargain. In the Is It deck, I had Mind Over... No. Um, Possibility Storm Ooh. and Eye of the Storm in the same deck. I don't know how they work together, but I imagine it's not fun. <laughs> no, no, it probably isn't. So, um, I can't actually wipe the board anymore. Why can you not wipe the board? <laughs> because what? his creatures are too big. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not even a board wipe? It's a It's a deal five damage to all creatures that are flying. Uh, I've actually learned that you probably don't want to activate Munda. When can you? <laughs> <laughs> I could probably just say no to the trigger instead of doing this, unless you're actually searching for a specific ally. What turn can you cast it, Tomer? Next turn. Well, I can just get rid of Edgar Markov. Uh, then I can kill two. I can kill a Vampire Token and I can kill a Falcon Wrath Noble. Doesn't it kill everything? Good luck, five, boys. Five damage. That kills everything, right? Actually, it's going to get pumped, too, on this turn. So, no, it doesn't kill everything. Uh, Olivia flies. Seth, Seth, if you don't kill my Edgar, I won't kill your commander. Oh. Uh, How's that sound? Mm. <laughs> what, <you're, laughs> are you actually <laughs> considering this? <laughs> <sighs> I probably we're just gonna, kill your, We're just going to lose, though, Seth. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to lose anyway, but maybe Vince will kill me last. We're going to die no, at the same time. Do you see how much power he has on the battlefield? You tutor up your board wipe guy from last turn, from last game. He's not a rebel. Oh, he's not? No, it's not. Oh. It's just a generic good. Oh, now, now your board wipes don't even work properly. Uh, more vampires. Like, if I kill Edgar Markov, are you going to board wipe, Tomer? Or is I much... don't have one. Oh, I thought you said you had one. Right, you see, needs to die. He needs uh, to die. Ed only deals five like, damage. I have I had Kajamaru, which needed three black to go off on one turn, so I figured that's not going to happen. Uh, there's Myojin of Cleansing Fire, which is triple white, and it's an eight mana spell. Again, <laughs> how do you not... ever cast any any of those things? <laughs> it worked good in my head. Okay. <laughs> um... Tomer is actually playing six drop tribal again. <laughs> It's more than six mana. Come on, I do have I one, two, three, mine. six mana spells in my Wait, are hand. Are you playing? Are you playing the box. ritual? No, I'm not desperate ritual. <laughs> it's not mana <laughs> fixing. It gives me triple red, and but that lets you cast your expensive spells. Maybe, maybe I didn't. I could have optimized this deck a little bit better. I'll have to run it back. I gotta, I gotta try. I know it's a losing battle, but it saddens me greatly. I can't just let you put counters on the whole team. <laughs> no, that does make sense. That'd be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? Um, I guess I have to shoot you now. So. Yeah, that's that's fair. Wait, why do all these things have haste? Uh, Olivia, when she puts a count on things, it gives them haste. Oh. Uh, wait, wait. Why do the vampire tokens have haste? Because it, it it triggers Olivia, and I discard a magnifying glass to give it haste. You may discard if you put a. What do you put a plus one plus one on that counter on that creature? Yep. And give it haste. Yeah, wait. To you did it for your vampire tokens? I'm confused. Yep. Well, my magnifying glass doesn't do a whole lot now. I mean, the investigate's okay, I guess. So I just thought I'd get another point of damage and get haste in. So, how many tricks can people have? Because I want to start damaging Tomer as well. Hurricane spells. <laughs> 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 this is going to attack Richard for five... Neither of these fly, do they, Seth? No. No, but you you can tutor. You can tutor. Don't. <laughs> Watch out for those rebels. <laughs> you never know what I'll it could be. <laughs> Watch out for the arcane spells. 
Uh, <laughs> don't make me do it. Can you do I, anything I, helpful if I keep you really you alive, need to Richard? kill Tomers? No, I have nothing. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I have I have a bunch of uh, allies. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess <laughs> I guess you can die then. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> dead. I, I I resolved myself to death with this uh, beast caller savant attack, but I I dealt him four damage. More than all of you dealt. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a couple of draws that would be good. But he also can just exterminate anything that's, that has four power or less. That's. I mean, he could double. That's all my rebels. No, f- five power or less. No, equal to the plus one. Oh, yeah, five. Five now. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize that thing had an ability. Yeah, that's why I like. <laughs> that was so good. I really wanted the time of need for like some sort oh, of ramp or card draw, but it just would have died. <laughs> You need a board wipe right now. I don't have. If we had a board wipe, this would actually be a game. Haha. Good luck <laughs> exterminating <laughs> my Protection thermal from red. <laughs> Gotcha. See, uh. the thing is, if Tomer lives long enough, his spells must be very impactful, right? Because they cost like 10 mana. No, they're all from Kamigawa. <laughs> this is their Kamigawa <laughs> They gotta do spells. something, right? All right, if, give me two more white. Give me eight mana, and then let me draw Miosian of Cloud wow. and Fire. What? Wow, that actually might be... <laughs> is, is that from Arcadia? It is originally wow. from Arcadia. So I'm just dead now. I really want to see Tover lose two games without casting a spell card. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I cast the spell he already. Cast oh, yeah, he cast the tutor. Oh, yeah. Don't be so mean to Tover. My bad. My bad. <laughs> And now I cast. What's Richard? Richard, you blew up my land and took me out of the game, and now you're harassing Toma for doing things he didn't do. Is it commander yes. time? <laughs> yes, commander oh, yeah. time. Oh, here we go. Oh, this survives cool. two activations. Oh, it only exiles one thing, though. I still think I'm dead, though. You're not dead. Wait, so I can just activate Vulcan Craft, exterminate it twice, and kill it? Yeah. Yes. I'm just making you waste the mana for it. I've never seen Vulcan Wrath Exterminator be so good. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this good either. I think by itself it's pretty bad, but if you attack a free player and then have Edgar Markov giving it counters, it gets big fast, and then it's legitimate. So Seth's got a pro red flyer and a story (laughs) circle on black. Yep. And if you somehow kill it, he can shuffle it back into his library to tutor up again. Don't forget that. (laughs) I got all the angles covered. I want to see some, like, game-breaking white enchantment that just totally hoses Rakdos, <laughs> and, and Vince can't fight through it. I'll be less mad about that than that, that World Breaker taking me out of the game. <laughs> I have one oh, something goodbye. about the World Breaker. <laughs> I have my Okagachi, you did good. I have two cards, two cards that I need to draw that are relevant, I think. Oh, you can't, you can't even pr- protect Tomer with your circle story thing. I cannot. Yourself. Find a circle story that protects me, Seth. Wait, why didn't you cast Ryusei last turn? Need more red, maybe? No, no, I could have. I just. It was a block, and if it dies, it, like, kills off the little tokens. Yeah, I guess I probably should have just played Ryusei. Well. All right. (laughs) 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 You just sound so dejected. Like, I want to tutor up a rebel, but I guess I have to not die. Yeah, that's why I'm attacking you, is to try and like tax your mana a little bit. I think I have a one-drop rebel, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a hope. You'd hope There's so. one. <laughs> From a, what does it do? Two, two drops up a two-drop rebel. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is the idea that, that as they band together, they get stronger? Is that the flavor? But they don't. <laughs> they just band together as a bunch of one ones. Strength, and, strength in numbers and all that. Imagine if they're rebel allies. Yeah, I think know. allies is the fixed rebels, is it not? Like, they band together and actually do something? Uh, no, allies I think... are kind of like fixed slivers as well. Yeah, I think mean, allies uh, are fixed slivers. I guess, yeah. Like, instead of doing uh, global... They do everything. Do and rebels just grab other rebels. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, aggressive it, plays it, over here. Is it Sarath coming? No, I got a story circle though. I gotta, I gotta try to so kill I'm, you someday. I'm just dead. Yep. <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> I think that's where we're at. All right. Well, I should have played this last turn. Right, you say? What? Oh, I wish I could kill it for this, you. This, this is kind of a problem for me, I guess. No, no it only kills your two vampire tokens. It doesn't even. It's not very good. It's, it's five. Th- oh no, it's five damage. It kills my Olivia. 
No, it's not. Oh, it, it doesn't not? get flyers, right? Yeah. It's no, not, not flyers. flyers. It's an earthquake. Oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, sweet. Actually, it might help you more because it removes sets like crap from the battlefield. <laughs> crap. Wow. Harsh. That's that's fair. <laughs> I guess I do this. Replayer commander. Ooh. A fiend of shadows. Huh. Never realized I was a vampire. Looks vampire-y. Oh, no. I gave the wrong thing haste. The story circle might keep me alive for a minute. I wanted the shadow fiend thing to have haste, not the not the token. Oh. You need to miracle a terminus. Oh, I wish it was in Arc <laughs> Arc Arcadian Mads, and then we'd be good. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Is this all going at me? Wow. Yeah, don't blow me out with one really big rebel. Like a hundred-handed one rebel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So first this. For this. Yes. No, wait. Yes. Exactly. What did you put it on? Oh, put it on the Falcon Rat. I guess that was pretty bad. Because... Oh, it can't activate its abilities. Oh, it's not a good passivism. It's just a passivism passivism. <laughs> and it actually doesn't do anything and it's also right now. In the middle. I, I should have done that a little, bit, a little bit earlier, I think. <laughs> wow, Seth. For some reason, I was thinking it was better than it was. We but... got to work together all this, Seth. What's going on? <laughs> That's all right. I'm only taking nine. That's all. Rebels are fine. So, he's gonna have more vampires than you have lands uh, soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so well, we, yeah, that's that's easy to do. We're quickly approaching that part of the game. Okay. I wish I gave my fiend haste. Oh, there you go. You can stay alive longer now. That's not even a white source, so it, yeah, it doesn't it's, story it's bad circle. for story circle. Alright. On the I, upside, I think there's only one card in my entire deck that can deal with enchantments. I don't have anything that can, like, stay on the board and be a legit threat is the problem. Yeah, that exterminators just got everything knock, covered. Knock him to 26. I could knock him to 26. Then, but then I don't have a blocker, and then the vampires don't die. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, he's just not going to attack you. Oh, I guess you're dead, right? If he swings. No, you're not dead. Does Ryu say trigger if I die? No. Not if you die, no. no. Oh. Well, I, I, it triggers, but then I think it gets removed from the game anyway. So I think I just... Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Do I just attack then, because I'm like going to be dead next turn? Especially if he casts Edgar at Markov, he gives it haste, right? Yeah, that that's a thing that could happen. Six mana, so three, six, seven. He one needs one. Oh, he can. Because he can't discard well, a card if he, if he draws a land. No, Edgar yeah, has Edgar Markov haste. has haste. Oh. Has haste. Oh. Has haste. Oh. Like, Never mind. Yeah. He was like thought, the first Najula. You're like, why does he have all these abilities? <laughs> yeah, he's really dumb. Like, that was my idea. Was like, I'll just, even if the deck's bad, at least the commander's really good, right? Command is insane. Um, and like, we, like we've seen, like, Falcon Wrath Exterminator, like Richard said, isn't actually that good. But when he's, with, when he's next to Edgar Markov, he's... Ten times better. You know what? This is gonna this is gonna suck, but I'm gonna just do this. Casting spells. Okay, I'm gonna cast a spell. Oh. Yeah, draw some cards, Tomer. Uh, all right. So, yeah, this is like the I least useful way of casting. What? I can kill the mana rock. I don't know if that's actually helpful, but. I was going to kill his Clifftop Retreat. Oh, okay, and then I'll kill the Mana Rock. Oh, come off no, it. Don't, kill, kill don't do this source. to me. Not again. Kill the Black I, Source. I can only kill his Clifftop Retreat. Oh, well, you might as well. What? What? Destroy Titan on Basic from Kamigawa. What's that? Um... Uh, everybody's favorite <laughs> Ore Gorger. Duh. Whenever you cast what? a Spirit or... Wow. That's actually kind of good in a Spirit deck. It's actually, yeah. That would have well. annihilated my deck. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I would have felt no, no remorse. Return. Oh, I can't even cast it. <laughs> what? No, now what? I have a blocker. Well, <laughs> mistapped your mana. Oh wait, no, I can still cast it. X equals zero. <laughs> no, my. Oh, wait, yeah. it even triggered by itself. You need to cast a second spell. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh my god. You think these are good cards? Come on, <laughs> yeah, but, come on, But to be fair, it's recurable though. And it does so I just, trigger and you start every I spent, spell shift. I spent two spells and seven mana to blow up a clifftop retreat. You're welcome. 
That's like the standard rate from land destruction. <laughs> no, because it would deal like 13 damage to somebody <laughs> on top of that if I it know, was a standard card. It was, it was the correct play. And I guess I block? <sighs> I guess I just got to leave all my mana oh, up. Oh, Seth, if, if, you, mm, if you got rid of the Cliptor Fragment, he would have only been able to activate Falcon Wrath Exterminator one time. But he still, he, he, he doesn't oh. have red mana. He can only activate it once anyway. Oh, you're right. Right? I thought... Oh, no, no. What do you mean? He I thought... I thought my card worked differently color. than than I than it actually did. Uh. <laughs> what? what? So it doesn't actually kill an artifact? Well, it does, but the my Marcadia is weird. It's got weird <laughs> ways of casting spells. Oh, uh, only when you cast it. All right, there goes my commander. Well, luckily for you, Tomer, it's my stuff that's getting killed. So, well, I guess we got a tutor. Go on. Oops. I thought you were gonna like tap out for a seven drop. Yeah, it's a rebel. that's a bit risky. What is the biggest rebel you've got? Uh, a four seven for six. <laughs> if it flies, oh no, it's not even good enough. It gets shot. It needs pro red. Does don't, don't half his creatures have pro red? <laughs> Only one. Oh no, we saw some. Oh no, like you know, kill target red creature protection from red. I guess we'll we'll just keep taking stuff. Mhm. Mm this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, we're still pretty dead. Well, I got story circle still. Yeah, it turns out a lot of vampires yeah, are black. But every, every time you cast a vampire, that's like two, two mana you need to use to stop the attacks. That's very true. Plus he has onboard removal here, which you're probably not getting around. <laughs> that's also an issue. Rebels cannot deal with something shooting like... Seven damage every turn for three mana. Yeah, we need to get rid of that exterminator. Yeah. But I don't have any. Best card on my deck. All right. Wait, wait what? We're, we're just story circling. Th th that doesn't work. They're attacking to Oh, I thought you were attacking me. All right. Moto bug it. No, Moto bug it. For some reason, I just assumed you were, were going at me. Oh, Tomer's almost dead, too. And then it's just the rebels versus vampires. I don't know about that. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. Oh no! Right. Well, he can't produce oh, the take... mana for it. Oh, that so doesn't matter. That's he's true. gonna take your wrath. No, yeah, I choose so... what card he oh. gets. Yeah, so you need to, so you need to not give me black, red, or white cards. Yeah, you can have Juga and the no, Rising has... Star. He can make any colored mana. No, but he can't do triple green. Well, what? Yeah, he can't do triple. <laughs> can't do triple green. <laughs> he could have Juga. Unless I have a way to copy my Cryptolith fragment. All right, Seth. It's nope. All right. Nope. Well, we're dead then. I can't. I can't help you. I got nothing. I hit, I hit a white man. Define Valken though. It's a, it's a rebel bird. That's true, and it can find me another rebel that dies to exterminator. Ugh. Yeah, I don't have anything that survives exterminator. I guess I can show you a cool card that I had. <laughs> that mana base. It's working out this game. It kind of is. <laughs> it's just that, like Edgar Markov is just turn insane. twenty. <laughs> you have ten mana. <laughs> I can do it. I honestly think I'm blaming black bad draws. Ooh, like I have an early Ayobi. things to do. I just weren't wasn't drawing them. I I didn't even draw like a you single say, arcane. You say, Toma. You say early. That costs seven mana. No, I said I didn't draw my early plays. Oh, sorry, I'm with you. I thought, I thought you meant that was one of your early plays. What is this? No! Oh, abolish. <laughs> I would have been so helpful earlier. I thought it was discard a white card, but it's specifically a planes that I have to discard. And you have to pay three mana? Oh, and no, no. It, you can play dead, it for free if you yeah, discard yeah. the planes, yeah. It's not bad. It's almost legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking if it's bugged and I can cast Jurgen for any mana, but I can't. I think there's like a very slight chance I could win. I mean, I can live I mean, with the story circle for a while, and there's like Edgar Markov's eminence is just too good. Yeah, I can't, I can't save you. I guess eventually I just get Falcon Wrath nobled out of the game, and by eventually I mean really soon. Um, yeah, I'm going hit everything. Well, Rebels might get second. If, if, I mean, I'm dead, so yes. <laughs> I, I you did get second. I would have taken that going going into the week. 
Wait, why is this trigger still? Oh, because I control it. Okay. Haha! -ha. Defiant Falcon. Let's find a rebel. So, how many rebels are you actually playing? Uh, all of them. I think it's like 40, 30 something. That's a lot. Ex Exile Target Black Creature? No! If you add Exile Target Red Creature! Yeah, that one's gone already. That one mm. died. But it does deal with the Noble. Wait, don't you have uh, the land that shuffles graveyard cards back in? Uh, <laughs> Where'd that go? I have. My commander can do that. L Lin oh, Lin your commander does, does it. Him. Yeah. Wouldn't that be hilarious if you got like enough mana to just do that? <laughs> just keep shuffling back your guy and. <laughs> What? Ha -ha. Good wow. Luck. Good luck getting through Chow Mano. Wow. <laughs> That's legit. You gotta hit with the thermal glider. What, what's your <laughs> win condition, though? Thermal glider. Two twos. Some of them I have guess. flying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, this is like proper old school mono white control, isn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fresh volunteers. Probably haven't seen that one before on the commander tables. <laughs> <laughs> Every Cho Arm villager a is a potential a warrior when they are called. They abandon their peaceful way of life and take up arms to defend it. <laughs> what is this deck? It's rebels. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Thankfully, it's black. Oh, come on, give me my one good card. I'm curious what this one good card is. It would be so helpful. I'm actually take. Oh, no damage. Okay. Well, it's not going to do damage anyway, is it? Uh, what, what, what if he plays a two mana instant now with this? <laughs> that is true. Yep. You're not going to tuck the bird back? I, eh. <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah, I don't actually want to draw the bird. <laughs> are you ever. Are, are you ever going to use Richard and Porn Shop? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I need one very specific card, and I don't want to put non fat cards back into my library. That's a good I'm pro trying tip. to think of what you can have in out. Like, Majita Lion's going to die, so that doesn't work. Defiant Vanguard? Wow, I've used that card in years. you got to keep the high market up so you can gain a life when he shoots down your creature. <laughs> yeah. But then I have less white mana for story circle I actually just well, like these things are just dying <laughs> well, yeah you, you can block the vampires on the ground that's true maybe I should just stop casting things <laughs> that's probably all I mean. stop like, casting <laughs> find a find an answer to the exterminator first I don't really have this them is, uh, this is pretty good that's gonna ultimate you could have discarded eventually. the fresh volunteers they could have been put to good use I thought this card was going to be terrible, but it turns out when it's one on one. One on one, it's actually just the modern legacy staple. <laughs> uh, well, that dies to exterminator, so I guess we can discard that. I, I forgot that Vulcan Craft Aristocrat actually has flying as well. The question is, uh, do you have any incidental humans? <laughs> are there like flip vampires or something that are humans? There is a flip vampire. Yeah, and, and I've just... got some bits that make humans because there's a couple of the, there's a, two other vampires that care about the humans yeah. dying. Oh, okay. So I'm playing like um I was playing the Throwing Doomsday up until the last edit, but I only put the deck together like an hour before we started playing because my Izzet deck was so bad. Unfortunately, Planeswalkers weren't a thing when Marcadia was a thing, <laughs> so I don't think there's any ways uh, of actually dealing with Iliata. You probably got a Rebel, um, Oblivion Ring. Mm, nope. No Rebel Oblivion Rings. <laughs> oh, I'm going to stop casting things. <laughs> Why? Do you want to discard them instead? <laughs> I, I guess at least that way I'm not spending mana before they go to the graveyard. <laughs> but you can cast them to gain a life. That's true. <laughs> Is this Edgar back? Oh, come on. Come on, deck. We're running out of time. <laughs> Maybe. Don't blame the deck. Blame the tribe. <laughs> I just need... I have... Oh, I need my one card. What could it possibly be? Oh, it's so bad. Is it going to wipe Liliana as well? Because that Lily's going to ultimate and kill you. Yes, I know. That is... <laughs> is it Cataclysm? That is a problem. It's not, it's not Cataclysm. Oh, he's not even bothering. <laughs> he's just going to protect Lily. Just, there is just no reason... Well, actually, no. That's not true. I should have attacked Mega Markov to pump my team. 
That would be the correct thing to do. Yeah, I think I just lose to Liliana. Marcadian Masks Pithing Needle. <laughs> Why do they all just search each other up? Like, do, do, is there an actual payoff? Or <laughs> That's a what chain they of do. Just, just more the most legit yeah. their tribal identity is to search up other like rebels. But searching up more grizzly bears doesn't help. <laughs> like, well, that's why do? nobody plays rebels in, in Commander. <laughs> I, if you had Door of Destinies or something, it'd be pretty sweet. But you don't, because it's <laughs> Arcadia only. If you had like a bunch of Mana Rocks and Paradox Engine, then you can go off. <laughs> then, you, then you get the all the horrible rebels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a win condition oh, there no, somewhere. Oh, really? Watch oh. out. What, what are you so upset about? It's a rackish air. It's more, more things. He only has so many planes. <laughs> That's tr Every creature is very scary at this point. Because <laughs> it's running me out of planes. No, it's red. You can't even, you can't even story circle it. He has a pro red, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. He's got this. I mean, he's got two blockers. That two blockers that can't be pinged. This Cho Mano is actually like the most legitimate creature. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you could have printed this in a recent set, and it would not look out of place. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. Well, okay. More planes to stop more <laughs> black creatures. I guess the red creatures are going to get me eventually. Oh, Vince down ticked. You gotta do the good old pile of one story circle, all your lands. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I need to stop the red ground creature. I guess the flyer the, does it, it does too. Both. Yeah. Haha, -ha, you have activated my story circle. <laughs> Would you like to hear a story, Edgar Markov? <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> uh, it's about rebels. I guess I could have go just, on. I, I guess I could have just blocked with my Chalmano. No, it flies. Edgar, Edgar no, does. I lied. No, I thought he did. I thought he did everything. I'm forgetting what he doesn't doesn't do now at this point. Yes, card advantage. Doing it. I had to go really deep to find ways to draw cards in uh, on Marcadia. <laughs> I don't know. If you would count this as card advantage. <laughs> it sort of is. It takes so long. <laughs> I get one extra card next turn, so eight mana draw a card. That's actually above the going rate on Marcadia. Card draw is very expensive there. <laughs> Got ya. Ew, and that's not even a. Oh wait, is it a human? Yes, it's a human. <laughs> you can put a plus one plus one oh, counter on the first crap. <laughs> Well, that's what you think. Russian and pawn shop, go, go, go. <laughs> Shovel. Shovel no. that in. Pawn shop, finally doing work. Wait, is that what you want to draw at this point? Yeah, you should have high marketed it. <laughs> yeah, I would have high marketed for that sweet health. It does stop that, that red creature, which is sort of relevant. Oh, boy, let's do this for a while. Story for you. <laughs> Gather around, friends. So I have a story do you have you an out? I have one card that I think is good. I, I don't think it stops Liliana, but I think it stops the rest of the stuff, and then maybe I can kill Liliana. You can't stop the vampire stuff. <laughs> They're obviously all too strong. But you're making more vampires every turn, right? I know. Edgar was obviously... Well, no, only when I draw vampires at this point. I wish Story Circle was... I don't know. Slightly less slow to activate. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been pretty good for you. It has. Game. It you is can't... keeping me alive. Did you not fog the Falcon Rough Aristocrat? Uh, I believe I did. I hope I did. Oh, you did. You did. Yeah, he didn't take any damage. I take four from the red thing. So, why didn't you fog... Did you fog, fog Markov as well? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, my screen, I can only see four. Oh, activations. yeah, maybe you're right. Did I... No, it, it worked. Did I? It says six damage was prevented from Edgar Markov. Oh, we've already gone to damage as well. That's really weird. On my screen, I can't see it. Yeah, I actually only had four, too. Well, we'll see. If I die, then then I guess I... Yeah, I only took four. Not looking good <laughs> for the rebels. You got this. Yes. You. Drawing a card, sort of. I'm glad I drew this. I put this <laughs> in at the last minute, knowing that I would not activate it, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Use it. You have could, to use I it. I couldn't resist just for the memes. And it's actually bad here because <laughs> it's not a white source that I can use to activate Story Circle, so I'm probably going to die because no, it of it. Is, 
No, it is a white source though. I, but I well, it's... I promised I, myself I wouldn't activate it. Oh, Mora. The they're not. Souls. They're not black. Oh wow! I can discard cards to Olivia to make their souls have haste. All right. So I think I'm gonna draw one more time, and then I'm gonna stop doing this. If I don't draw one of my my relevant cards, stop doing uh, what? Saving myself with Story Circle. <laughs> I guess you kill me you, next turn anyway, next don't turn you? You'll die next turn to the the air anyway. Yeah, if you're. All right. Let's blocker. see. Well, let's see what we draw. If you draw any sort of removal for the air, oh no, the spirits will get you. No, hang on, no, they won't. You'll still survive. It's just a little Yana if he finds a board wipe. I mean, it needs to be an exile because aristocrat is indestructible. No, as in he can fuck my black creatures all day. He just needs to deal with the uh, red I guess that's true. So, and then the spirits as yeah, well, I guess, I guess that's now. true. All right, hopefully we did this correctly so we live. Moto misclick? <laughs> all right. Found a two. So we get another, another card under the archive. <laughs> It, it will be hilarious if you draw the card you need off of the archive. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll show Are you activating the archive? I'll show you what I drew. Yeah, I have to. I'll show you what I drew if I miss. Uh, oh, I guess I discard it. <laughs> it was my Chow hey. Mano again. Hey, do you guys see the Exile Zone? It's the new Magic logo. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah. Oh, the, I did see Yeah, Mano's got new card backs oh, now. Oh, alright. Chieftain and all. It can block. It can block the red creature. It's not even a rebel. Why is this here? Yeah, wait. It's a human knight. <laughs> it's a, it's a somewhat playable card from my set. <laughs> you read it's other a two, rebels. It's a two-two for three. <laughs> that, that's actually really good on Arcadia. He's like the the ruler of the whole plane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're free to kill me. Good game. Good game. Well, the story circle was surprisingly effective. Very effective. More than Green Souls, yep. All right, so wrapping it up, Seth. Well, I'm just going to give the spirit a haste and get him. What was the card you were actually looking for? Uh, so there, there, I guess there was sort of two. One of them was Crackdown, which makes it so non-white creatures with power through a greater don't untap. <laughs> so that was that was one of them. The other one was the one like sort of wrath that is in my set, which is Wave of Reckoning, which makes each creature deal damage to itself equal to its power. Uh, mm. So I think that would have killed all of the vampires, not the Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, but I kind of had that covered anyway. And then I would have just had to find if I had been able to get rid of the exterminator, then I could play my commander and like rebuild my board by tutoring stuff up and maybe kill the Liliana eventually. So that was my hope was to draw one of those two cards. Both playable cards that I've seen in commander. And I think I've seen crackdown and legacy before. I think DNT used to play it like in place of meek stone. Sort of. It's enchantment, it is. Right? Yeah. Three mana enchantment. Yeah. yeah. It's a solid card. Yeah, it's like mixed. Yeah, it's actually uh, one it's like of the playables. best cards in in my set. Marcadia is very underpowered anyway, and then oh yeah, rebels are probably by Marcadia standards actually not that bad, but by any other standard are not very powerful. So I knew going into it, the deck was going to be pretty janky. I feel like really. All things considered, it wasn't a bad performance considering the restrictions on the deck and some of the janky filler cards I have to play, but I, I wouldn't <laughs> expect to uh, win with Rebels very often. I mean, I think it had a pretty good showing, especially in the first game where it actually got to do some legit things. So, yeah, Rebels. It's kind of exciting to see that Lincivi is known historically for being busted, but when you actually get down to it, she's... In the, she's not busted enough to like compete with modern day commanders and stuff. Like you said, it was more of a card advantage engine back in the day, but it's kind of almost gone into a bit of like Magic Legend where people know that Lynn Siver was banned at some point. Yeah, I mean, like, but don't really understand. I don't why. even know. I, think if, that's really I, don't, I wonder how good Lynn Siver would be if she like showed up in Standard today. Obviously, with like some amount of rebels, but with the new like Legend rule and exile removal and stuff, I don't even know like if it would be that busted today. I think yeah, I think her I power is basically tied directly to what our card pool is for rebels. Like if she had actual good rebels to tutor up, she could actually be a really powerful commander. The ability to just tutor up any rebel card in your entire deck in like a ninety nine card singleton format, it can be really strong, but we just don't have like the card pool to really support her anymore. So 
Uh, yes, that is probably the biggest problem with Rebels. They top out at six mana, uh, and the six mana one is a rare called Jovel Queen, which is a six mana four seven with vigilance. Otherwise, you have like five mana three fours, uh, five mana three threes. Wait, is that yeah? It? That is the is there no that, text? that is that's all the text. Yeah. <laughs> So so it's very hard to actually close out the games efficiently with the Rebels. If it wasn't for the fact that Lin Civi was white, it would be cool to play with Arcane Adaptation or something like that where you could make things yeah. into Rebels and tutor up all different things. So maybe there's some five-color deck that you could play Lin Civi in the 99 with like creature shifting stuff. That. But the, the problem you'd have is that um, you have to play some Rebels to go tutoring for. To, t- tutoring Rebels like Lin Civi plus cards that are worth tutoring for. And it's where the where the even the good numbers between the two would be because obviously the other rebels would still shoot for rebels if you put conspiracy rebel as well, but yeah, it'd be a bit messy. It'd be interesting though, like in black white. Yeah, it could be white. fun. And there's also like uh, mer- uh, mercenaries, I believe, is like the black version of rebels, which were in the same block. So uh, kind of interesting. There's two very similar mechanics from Arcadia: the black one and the white one. Anyway, the deck was, I mean, right. the deck was what I expected it to be. It was fun, it was janky, we did some things, and then we died. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a pretty good showing for Ripples, all things considered, especially with such a strong restriction. But yeah. Uh, Vince, we got to see Edgar Markov do Edgar Markov things. Were there any other cool interactions that you had in Innistrad that you didn't get to showcase? If I'm honest, no. It's, it's a relatively straightforward deck. Yeah. Like as you saw, there was like um, there's like five one drops and like twelve two drops. I think no, maybe eight two drops off my head. So the whole point was to just be out of the gates aggro. So when I when I in the first game when I missed lands and then had my land blown up by that 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 <laughs> that Eldrazi, it was just like wow, my deck's literally doing nothing. Um, so no, there's nothing that exciting. It was just lots and lots of vampires. And then a few cards that support the vampires by making human tokens um, or being humans themselves. And then I, there's some cool like utility spells that Innistrad gave me. So I had like Divine Reckoning. Each player chooses a creature he or she controls and destroys the rest with Flashback. Um, Blasphemous Act. Um, Army of the Damned. I thought I'd just play it anyway just in case I drew it in the late game. That sort of stuff. Um, no, oh, and Campaigns of Vengeance and Hellrider were two cards that I was... I quite like playing with the things like ping people for attacking loads of dudes, but seem pretty good with Edgar. Basically, Edgar's a bit busted, isn't he? And you can see, you can see power creep from Lin Civi to <laughs> Edgar Markov. The different, the difference in power across legendary creatures is insane, isn't it? Yeah, we got to see what happens when Edgar gets shut down due to mana screw, and then we got to see what happens when he gets free reign. And like, it's very hard to find a middle ground where Edgar Markov is doing okay. Because he's very much an all-in yeah. commander. So either you shut him down and you don't let Edgar Markov play the game, or you let him play the game, and then after, like, three turns, he's swinging for lethal, or two turns, he's swinging for lethal. It's kind of like Najila. We kind of ran across that issue with Najila, too. Like, shut down Najila, Najila doesn't get to play the game. You're just out. And then if you let Najila actually sit around for a couple turns, Najila wins the game. It's just like, it's it's all or nothing, really. So yeah, they're both super linear commanders. I guess the vampires you could play an aristocrat strategy as yeah. well as a backup plan, but you'd normally fall back on just swinging with lots and lots of one one token strategy. So they're both very very linear. Not stuff that I'd like build in paper and play vaguely. I don't think it was just it was just better than playing Niv Mizzet plus bad is it spells. You yeah, know? but it's more like the receiving of hate. It seems really honestly, it's it's justified because like. If you if you leave the the player alone, he just wins the game. So it's like, where where do you where do you go from there? You know, it's 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 Is a weird you political defending your wasteland <laughs> next week when you wasteland on turn. Oh three. man, I'm I'm way overdue for like a nice MLD strategy. I just just leave my lands alone, guys. I don't have to do another week of cataclysm. I need I need strip mine and field of ruin minimum minimum. Oh, stop. And speaking of the person who who was Mr. Land Destruction, Richard. <laughs> it was a <laughs> single <laughs> world breaker, <I> guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, to defend my point, to defend my saltiness and stuff, it's not just that. It's, it wasn't even you, Richard. I think my anger is more at Seth still for that Guild of Ruin. <laughs> That's where it's coming from. <laughs> from like two months ago. <laughs> the thing is, 
And then he played one today. It's like it's like a PTSD. And I can't get over I it. Am, just... I, I, I am so running Field of Ruin next game. <laughs> I'm working it into all my decks. So I uh, guess cool things you guys didn't see. You guys saw most of the allies. Uh, there are lots of people you don't suspect to be allies but are like Bruce Tarl. He's like so good. Um, I was trying to tutor Eldrazi Monument with Bring to Light. Doesn't bring artifacts, but that gives all my creatures indestructible. Uh, the card I really wanted to play most was Captain's Claws. It's a, an equipment two to cast. Your creature gets plus one plus zero, and when it attacks, you get a one one white core ally creature token. Hmm. Uh, that's also attacking, so it triggers all your allies, uh, gives you another token, and retreat to Ameria. So those are the two cards that made me want to play allies, and I of course never drew any of them. Um, and then on Zendikar, you just have powerful things like um, Beastmaster Ascension, uh, Quarantine Field. So the deck is actually pretty well-rounded. I wouldn't say it's like super good, but it wasn't uh, non-functional <laughs> like maybe some of the other decks we saw. Like it's actually pretty rounded. It's just not playing, you know, if you were to make an Allies deck, like without the restriction of the planes, you could do a lot mm -hmm. better. But it's still yeah. pretty decent. You still have Would you cards. suggest that your first game was a nut draw? It was pretty much the best draw. Right, because it was Mana Dork. It was obscene. I was like, "There's no way we can." We Mana Dork this. into X Mana Dork into Zendikar Resurgent, and then <laughs> I had Bruce Tarl to help me stabilize. Without Bruce yeah. Tarl, you might have actually been able to kill me. But, but Bruce Tarl gave me enough you, life yeah. to fight through that, and then I lived long enough to Lantern Scout and gain a million life, and then it was like all over from there. Right. So that was pretty much the best this deck could ever do, and it was pretty good. And then the second game you saw, it was like. Uh, two basic lands into expedition map, into <laughs> struggling to cast anything, and then I, I couldn't mount a defense before I died. But pretty, yeah. pretty cool deck. I really like allies. It was, you know, we always joke, you don't know what's an ally and what is an ally, but there's a lot of synergy, and it really rewards you for playing as many allies as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I'm, I'm the biggest fan of the original Zendikar allies, especially. They're all very straightforward, they enter the battlefield, they do something that is basically gets better than the more allies you have on the battlefield. I really like it. It's really clean, really simple, very much like enter the battlefield friendly, so blink strategies and all that stuff. The latter one, yeah, the battle for Zendikar, it gets a little bit muddier because they don't fall into that clear template, but you still have a bunch of allies that are adding a lot of goodness to the deck. Like there was that other other mana dork that has haste and taps for any color if as long as you're playing creatures. There was Bruce Tarl that randomly was an ally as well too. Like it seems like a very well rounded um tribe and it's like if you like slivers or that sort of play, you could just play allies and it's a fairer version. And yeah, Zendikar just seemed like a, a good plane in general it has all the ramp you need all the mana fixing you need um allies you have all the allies that you could want um so at least the core is there obviously you're not gonna have the best version of the ally deck but it seemed like a solid plane overall yeah Tazri for that strategy really good like not yeah. Nigila or markov level but the fact yeah. that she tutors and you have an ally for basically every situation so you basically get a free tutor on her and then you also get you know the crazy pump ability too yeah, I think I think she's actually there's a competitive build of Tazru, but it doesn't look like Ally Tribal. It's like a combo deck. So, <laughs> um, but like playing just Ally Tribal, she's she's very solid. Like you said, she's not to the level of like you have to kill her on sight immediately. But uh, the tutor ability on a cheap commander and the fact that you could turn into a, a finisher later on in the game is really excellent. So, seemed very solid. Um, all right, wrapping it up with my deck. I'm sad because it, the deck list looks so sweet. I, honestly, I, 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 looking at the deck, I'm counting seven sources of ramp. Um, the curve is definitely on the high side, but I just, both games, I didn't draw my early plays. And it was just weird. Because, like, I have Sakura Tribelder, I have Kodama's Reach, I have Petalmain Baku, Loam Dweller, Honorworn Shaku, all these, like, ramp cards that I just didn't see in the game and they're actually really powerful in this deck it's like all about spirits and arcane and there's a lot of cards that care about when you cast a spirit or arcane card then something good happens um i'm running like the 
all the dragon aspects that have something good happen when they die. So they're big beefy creatures that can attack and block really well. And then I have ways to sacrifice them for value. For example, I'm running like Through the Breach, which is an instant arcane spell. You, you can put a creature into play from your hand. It has haste and then you sacrifice it at end of turn. So I can have it as a surprise blocker. I can have it as a surprise um, attacker off splicing off an arcane spell. And then I can sacrifice my... Um, dragon for for value that way um similarly i have reweave which is like a polymorph for any permanent type again it's an arcane spell so i could like splice it and reweave one of my dragons to get a different creature onto the battlefield and still use its abilities i have the myogens i have tons of i have tons of removal i have board wipes i have all the good stuff it just you really need to draw it in the right in the right order and it just did not come across come that way this game it's definitely very slow but i think it it performed even worse than i expected and the worst thing about kamigawa is just the mana fixing i have so bad mana fixing i'm running way too many basics because there's just not a lot of options in terms of mana fixing there's like kodama's reach there's quill main baku or uh, sorry petal main baku there's secure tribe elder uh forbidden orchard as my one mana fixing land and that's it there's like the really the worst dual lands they have ever printed in the game, which I'm not running. Um, <laughs> they're just tap for colorless, or you tap them for one of two colors, and then they don't untap on the next turn. They're just not good. So that is definitely the weakest part of it, and ruins the consistency. That's where you went wrong. You were a coward. That's where you went wrong. Why? You didn't play the you didn't play the tap and stay tapped lands. <laughs> they're so bad. <laughs> Maybe maybe that was the right call. I don't even know. You I would don't have been even know. Rewarded by the ghost of Earth. Maybe I, I would have been <laughs> able to. The gods of Kamigawa would have shined upon you. I would have been able to cast more of my spells, I guess. Especially in the first game. The second game, like, if I just hit, like, a, a Sakura Tri Builder or Kodama's Reach, just, it would have been fine, I think. But it just didn't come across. But I, I think the deck is actually pretty sweet. Like, there's a lot of, like, synergies between Spirits and Arcane and the Arcane Splicing and all that stuff. It just requires so much mana. It needs so much mana, and it needs you to have, like, your early drops early, and it just didn't pan out that way. So this is, like, one of the decks that I would like to run back at some point just to make a make a point of it, kind of like six-drop tribal. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully... So, Q, five, five weeks, Tomia. Five weeks, <laughs> five weeks of Kamigawa. Five weeks five of Kamigawa weeks. just to get it done. <laughs> like Moonfolk. Yeah. I think this deck is actually better than Moonfolk deck. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> I think this one has way more potential, but it's just... Eh. I think we need to petition Wizards to go back to Kamigawa just to help you build better commander <laughs> decks, because at the moment you're you're getting shafted by only one, one well, Kamigawa, you know, aren't you? Well, you know, once uh, the next Commander 2018 comes out, we're going to have the best Kamigawa deck possible with Eureka, and I'm totally running it, and I'm totally going Ninja Tribal, and that deck is actually going to destroy folks, so I'm excited for that part. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's one more Kamigawa that I have to cross off the list. Maybe Bushido at some point. <laughs> but yeah, Kamigawa rules, and let's go back to Kamigawa. And that... So in Mono White Week, you gonna play Samurai? <laughs> I'll, I'll see if it's viable. I think you Hated and Half Tales is a popular is a popular commander. So we got one Kamigawa legend. Uh, That's not some... Samurai though, is it? Samurai, really bad. <laughs> Uh, you've played Moonfolk five times. Don't don't give me the samurai or too bad. All right, line. I'll, I'll I'll strongly consider if if that's what YouTube wants. YouTube make it known if you really want to see you're gonna Mono regret White this. Bushido, <laughs> that is something I can do for you. With General Takino or whatever the the samurai commander. So yeah, that that wraps up this this game. This these two games, Commander Clash. This episode next week. We are doing our. It's a Ravnica hype, right? Yeah. Yes. We're doing legendary creatures from Ravnica, the plane. Um, it's going to be guilds, obviously. So we're all going to represent our favorite guilds with our favorite legendary commander from Ravnica. And it's going to be super sweet. But more importantly for you all, the week after that is going to be viewer submitted decks. So this week, we are going to be accepting your viewer submitted decks. Send us your deck lists in the YouTube comment section, the article comment section. You could probably tweet us too. 
um, your your deck lists, and we're going to be accepting decks until Wednesday, whatever that date is. <laughs> Wednesday the twelfth. Third. We'll, we'll we'll put it we'll put it in the description. Twelve. The so they know. Third. Well, third. No, it can't be twelve because no. this video won't. This no, video yeah, won't be out. nineteen. Nineteen. 19. 12 so was from today, the from tonight, the 14th, <laughs> Everyone to, the 19th, now. 14th <laughs> to the 19th, give us your viewer submitted thanks. Fun time. We'll pick our favorites. Okay, bye. <laughs> thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.